first of all, let, let us decide uh, before we hear anything from the coaches yeah, themselves. Yeah, yeah. So to me, it's very important for us to think so that we are not clouded or being influenced by you know personalities like that. And they are very senior coaches of our, uh, our team, so definitely. Uh, we, we we don't want to hear their I mean, their views first. We just want to sit down and okay, meet. I mean, uh, just, uh, listen to the views of the council, uh, the members of the coaching and training committee, and also the school. To me, the Olympics is the highest sports meet you know, in the world, and uh, we work towards that. Okay, so we have the, 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 the current national players, and then always the the, the club pista. Okay, and uh, we hope that by doing this, our, our assembly line will not be dry up, right? So the whole idea is to have a continuous development program. But at the end of the day, to be world beaters. You can bring the place to world class. I think that's what the role of BEM, okay? But you have to find talent, characters, that can really excel to become number world, world number one. Uh, so this is the critical area that we have to do to search for that talent. The key thing is balance healthy and we will continue to improve uh, our methods of, of, of coaching and training uh, the players. As I told you much earlier, we want to document all this. This is where we want, we want to be as scientific as possible so that knowledge can be accumulated over time. You know, If you want our badminton players to become world beaters, you must have talent, you must have the managers to develop and manage those talents, okay? And that's the key, and I think this is where Malaysia is still at.